And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first gauntlet of the week. Uh, gauntlet just opened for us now. I know by the time y'all are watch, a lot of y'all on YouTube are watching, Gauntlet's going to be out for a little bit. Um, but tomorrow I'll also spend more time on Gauntlet. So this video and the next couple of videos will be some Gauntlet. So this Gauntlet for the weekend, that's uh, Friday through Monday, is going to be battle or well we're playing battle scars but it's going to be singleton um and so singleton is where you can only have one of each card so if you notice like over here on the right hand side i have one of all of these cards and i'm calling this deck battle scars because that's the expedition name of noxus and frel yord together um and we're just playing tons and tons of good cards like that's that's all it is is just kind of fit in as many good cards as you can have as good of curve as you can um Singleton's going to be a slower format than just the regular gameplay because you don't have the consistency. So you do need top end cards that are heavy hitters. Um, and so that we got Captain Farron in here to create a bunch of decimates for us, a Leviathan to draw Swain. Um, I could, we could have the Tusk Raider in here too. I'm not starting with it, but um, I mean, I guess we won't have it in it anyway because we're not playing that. But um, that's another option. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's let's try this out. So basically, what it what it is, uh, so we're selecting this singleton gauntlet. Uh, we play until you either win seven or you lose two in a row. So hopefully we win seven. Um, it does give you some cool icons. This was last week's gauntlet icon for the seven wins. If you just play it at all, you get you get an icon, and then if you get seven wins, you get an additional icon. All right, so we're playing against a. Uh, probably a little bit more controly with PNZ and Ionia. Let's get rid of Sentry and I'll keep the rest. I'll keep these. This one, two, three. Leeson, Karma, Ezreal, Heimerdinger. Those all work together. I feel like they should be playing Jinx as well. Because if their hand gets empty, they can start drawing multiple cards a turn with Jinx. That seems like another good PNZ champion they could have <clears throat> yeah plunder uh, this doesn't have plunder something about plunder plunder means you deal damage to the enemy nexus during that turn so there we go here we go the card triggers its plunder ability when you played it if you damage the enemy nexus this round fight or die Just attack. Plus zero, plus three. Alright, so we don't get to play the Crimson Curator this turn, but we're just trading straight up. Like, we're trading our two mana card and our three mana card for their two mana card and three mana card um, to get it some leveling up. On the Swain. Swift. Oh, that card is great. That card is too good. Could really be a 3-3. Three, three. I want to cast Cat of the Arm. I'm supposed to be ca casting Cat of the Arm there. A shadow to cut through the light. All right, well, that's the worst card to hit, <clears throat> Captain Farron. <laughs> it doesn't matter if Captain Farron's an 8 8 or a 9 9. Does not really matter. It is me. 
Well, that's lucky. That's pretty lucky. down to three. I don't really want to go down to three. We get that ephemeral. Yeah, that was awesome, awesome turn for them. Looks like Heimerdinger is going to win it. Imagine us winning this. Silence. Um, guess we'll kill the four three. Oh, I should use Elixir of Iron on the Curator. I should use Elixir of Iron there. I could have got another Crimson card and they that I could have played. They cannot see. Ravenous Flock, you're just not doing anything. Not doing anything at all. Well, Harsh Winds is a good one. That's a good one. Maybe this isn't over yet. Harsh winds keeping me alive. Just for a little bit. Got to be kidding me. Alright, that's not that big a deal. That's just a removal scroll for Cado. That's not that big a deal. That's okay. It's kinda of weird for them to be playing. I mean I guess like what other ephemerals are they having? Like why is why is that card in their deck? Heimerdinger strikes again. So, 0 and 1. Hopefully, we don't just go 0 2. Have like a 20 minute video. Probably have to rejoin or something. I don't know. Heimerdinger is going to be super, super popular in this mode. That's for sure. Alright, we'll keep all these. 
But I mean, there's too many elusives. That that 4-3... If there's one card I could change, it would probably be changing... Like, if there's one card that I think that, that really should change, um, I guess non-champion-wise, it would probably be that 4-3 uh, elusive should honestly be a 3-3. Three, three. Especially with all of the... If you look at like the other sizes of the elusives, that thing really should be a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so Lonely Poro... Not bad. Not bad. I can't really get through with Grenadier or Avaros and Sentry. Bad to play either. Ravenous Flock has looked like the worst card in my deck. It is kind of weird that we're like, we're drawing a lot of the same cards. I don't know if a lot, it's just like the last three. That's the last game. I don't know if that means a lot. Alright, level up that swing. Okay, we're gonna play Cato pre combat. Give the Grenadier. That's not bad. Give the Grenadier the Overwhelm. Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll just hold back. Thing about Singleton is you don't you don't get the same game twice, that's for sure. Let's The problem with stunning Braum is I I wanna play one of these cards. I wanna play one of my six mana cards. We're going to stun this. I don't want them to get the 3-3 three, three Poro. And then next turn, I'm going to have Sejuani uh, challenge the Braum. <laughs> no, this is the very first, like... Uh, it just got unlocked. This is the very first time that we're playing Gauntlet. For North America server, just got unlocked. Cato challenge from. Yeah, I like Cato Challenge Braum, and then we have Overwhelm with a lot of this other stuff. I like that. The War Mother will unite us all. <laughs> Correct, so not yet is the answer. Fearsome overwhelm. Alright, doing five damage with that. I want to draw Avaros and Hearth Guard. That card's great. We have one of those. No. Just 
Chill out, Hearthguard. Chill out. Sometimes I oh, man. He's getting the great Freljord cards. That's pretty awesome. Being able to keep Braum alive, get a Mighty Poro. I want to have Rose and Hearthguard and Braum and Fury of the North. And Elixir of Iron. We're playing all those cards. I'm just jealous. <clears throat> okay. So we each have three cards in hand. They got a they got a Brahm and a couple little Poros. Let's go along with Brahm. Things big. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ever Rosen Hearth Guard. Alpha Wild Claw. Victory requires a sharp blade. Um, ancient P. Gosh. The hits don't stop coming. I probably have to kill Braum. If I had to choose like one thing to kill, it's, it's gotta be Braum, right? And I, I want to frostbite that because I want the glory seeker to. Um, I want the glory seeker to be able to challenge again. Okay, that, that trade's just fine with me. That means we don't take the one damage from Overwhelm. We'll take what we want. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hearthguard is just awesome. You should just be playing Hearthguard, a five mana, five, five. <clears throat> that honestly, over a longer game, because these games usually go longer, is usually a, a lot more, you know, like, now the hearth guard's going to be 6-6, six, six, and then, you know, after the next card's a 7-7, seven, seven, and so on. Like, it, it's just worth it to play. I'll make this quick. Nice to punch you. I wasn't strong enough. I have the best job. Yeah, I mean it works better with with overwhelm than not with overwhelm, but it's it's just should be it's a card that should be played. They're gonna go down to three. They block the 6-2, go down to 3, and then Leviathan kills them. Remember me. That's my plan. That's the plan. Meow, 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 meow. No! My plan! Catalyst of Aeons? What happened to my plan? Fight for your lives! That's such a 
good plan. You own what you take. We own all we see. Victory awaits. Looks like we're gonna be 0 and 2. Such a good plan. Catalyst of Aeons. Well, darn. That was... That was not a good showing. That was not a good showing. Don't know if there's anything really wrong with the deck. Um, what didn't look so good? Maybe... Maybe we get a Trifarian Assessor in here. Yeah, Harsh Winds is in there. Maybe you could fit a Trifarian Assessor. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just kind of the kind of the stuff that happens with Singleton. There's going to be a lot of variants in this format, and honestly, having so having a format with a lot of variants is is honestly kind of fun. You know, it's not a it's not a competitive format, so you don't have to worry. You know, you don't have to like take losses in the gauntlet too seriously um but uh, uh you know having a lot of variants is also good so then you're gonna have you know like maybe you're somebody who maybe you're somebody who uh you know is usually kind of struggling a little bit on the ladder go over to the gauntlet play all these one ofs have some fun and with all the variants like you're gonna you're gonna find some success um so uh yeah Go, you know, go, you know, go, go have fun on, on the, the gauntlet. I don't think that there, I don't think this is really a format of this is the best deck to be playing. I don't think that that, I don't think that's really the case, but we're going to keep trying it out. So like, you know, we'll have, we're going to have some more gauntlet videos. We'll be playing them tomorrow, but for those of y'all watching on YouTube, it'll, they'll be coming up, um, you know, uh, later on in the afternoon, I guess for y'all. We'll do another two or maybe three gauntlet decks. Uh, with these singletons because there's there's some other region combinations i wanted to, to play you know of course the shadow isles piltover is the classic um but there's there's some other good stuff like bilgewater has a whole lot of stuff i want to play a bilgewater deck um demacia has so much good stuff too could probably go like bilgewater demacia um go aggressive with that now that's that's two good combinations then ionia we saw with all those elusives maybe we try ionia with one of these other two regions that uh one of these two regions that we just played like we could go ionia noxus there's lots of good aggro for that um but yeah single yeah singleton's fun singleton is fun give this format a try uh i don't i just don't have time for another uh like you know for going through another gauntlet like especially if we go get to like seven wins and stuff um i have a a family like barbecue to get to for the fourth of july so don't have don't have time for that to go through another one especially with our, our longer decks the winter ezreal twisted control those games were really long um cool yeah you, you did bilgewater shadow isles yeah yeah there's some good stuff there too i mean yeah you can you can go any any region combination um and just have fun with it this is a fun format um i know i just went o2 and that's disappointing for you know putting out content i'm sorry <laughs> there's there's variants in this format uh i recommend tr trying out the deck though i i do i i would be confident in playing this deck again and uh, i think i would think we'd have a good chance of getting seven wins if we just go retry the deck to be honest i would i would be uh fairly confident um we didn't do too much with champions in those games i know we, we only have the six you know we have the six champions which i guess is normal but uh 
Didn't do too much of them. But anyway, yeah. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, leave the comments of let me know how this deck goes for you. If you try it out, let me know how it goes. I, ho I hope to hear some some good success stories with the deck. And, uh, you know, anything else that, that you're playing here for the gauntlet, let me know. But we'll, we'll get some more gauntlet decks tomorrow. All right, that's it here for Battle Scars, though. <laughs> the, probably my shortest Runeterra video ever. Uh, yeah, it's just how it goes with these gauntlets. Got it. Got to win. All right, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great uh, holiday weekend for those of y'all in the, the U.S. and um, everywhere else. Just have a great day, and I'll see y'all for the next video.